Zion Williamson, he looks fat. Went to the free throw line. Ladies and gentlemen, I saw a belly who looked fat, out of shape, unfocused. His affliction is food. He can't stop eating. But the ultimate evidence was his belly. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Not again. Fantastic tonight. Zion Latif Williamson was born in Salisbury, North Carolina on July 6, 2000. His parents, Latif Williamson and Sharonda Sampson, were both college athletes as his mother was a sprinter at Livingstone College and his father was a defensive lineman and played at North Carolina State. Now as for Zion, he would start off early in his life being an athlete at a very young age. At the age of five, he wanted to be a college basketball star. At age nine, he would wake up at 5 a.m. so he could train. I'm 19 years old and a nine-year-old was over here waking up at 5 a.m. a lot easier than I am. He would play in youth leagues with his mother Sharonda coaching and he also played for the Sumter Falcons in the AAU circuit and he was playing against opponents four years older than himself. He joined the basketball team at Jonakin Middle School located in Marion, South Carolina and he averaged 20 points per game in middle school. Between his eighth and ninth grade seasons, he would grow from five foot nine up to a monstrous six foot three. As a freshman in high school, Zion would average 24 points, nine rebounds, three assists, three steals, and three blocks. Now, as for his second year in high school, he would be six foot six as a sophomore. He averaged 28 points, 10 rebounds, almost four blocks and almost three steals a game. Now, as a junior, he would level up even more. He averaged almost 37 points a game, 13 rebounds, three steals, and two and a half blocks. Now, as a senior, Zion would average 36 points, 11 rebounds, and three and a half assists per game. He would score his 3,000th career point as a senior as well, which is very, very impressive. Now Zion started getting his college offers when he was first a freshman, however by the end of his sophomore year he had offers from 16 Division I programs and entering his junior year he was a consensus 5 star recruit and the number one player in his class. Zion would end up committing to Duke University wanting to learn a lot from Coach K as he said he was the most legendary coach that ever coached college basketball. So as for his college season, he would average 22.6 points, around 9 rebounds a game, 2 assists, on a whopping 68% from the field. Now the most infamous moment of Zion's college career was in a game against North Carolina where his shoe would blow out in the first minute of the game, causing him to sprain his knee and causing Nike's stock to drop over $1 billion. Some people are skeptical that this was the beginning of some of his injury history as he has dealt with knee injuries since. And on April 15th, 2019, Zion Williamson would declare for the 2019 NBA Draft. Hello everyone, I'm Mason, and let's hop into the story of how Zion Williamson transformed from being criticized for his weight and secretly playing at the highest level of his career while no one seems to be talking about it. Make sure to leave a like on today's video and subscribe if you have not already, and let's get right into the story. With the first pick in the 2019 NBA Draft, the New Orleans Pelicans select Zion Williamson from Duke University. 
Now, Zion Williamson being drafted number one overall to the New Orleans Pelicans would change the landscape a lot for them. He would go into a city and a team that just had a huge change of scenery as they just lost Anthony Davis and were rebuilding around many young new pieces. He would end up third in rookie of the year voting. He ended up missing around the first half of the season due to a torn meniscus from the preseason. But in the short, limited time that we did get to see Zion, he was extremely dominant. He would end up averaging 22 and a half points, six rebounds, two assists on 58% from the field. Now, as for his next three seasons, the NBA from between 2020, I'm just going to kind of sum them up all together. Overall, between these seasons, he would end up playing a total of 90 games throughout these three seasons. He would completely miss the 21-22 season out with a foot injury. This was just a pretty devastating time for for Pelicans fans as nobody knew what the state of him was when it came to how often he would play, if he was going to be healthy, and especially when he was out, a big issue was his weight. He would suffer a hamstring injury. However, during this time is when a lot of the negative conversations around Zion would begin. When he had foot surgery in the season that he missed, the 21-22 season, he ended up putting on weight because he wasn't able to train. As with foot surgery, obviously you have to stay off of that foot. Now, Zion has been in a lot of people's talks. As you saw in the beginning of the video, Stephen A. Smith mentioning how he looked out of shape at the beginning of the 23-24 season. As for before going into the 22-23 season, Zion, after recovering from that foot injury, had reportedly lost 35 pounds, which for someone of his size is a very noticeable difference. Now, as for the 23-24 season, Stephen A. Smith was quoted saying, I saw a belly talking about Zion and saying once again that he was out of shape. He has faced a lot of criticism for this his entire NBA career as people are constantly going on about it. Now, comparing him in the NBA's in-season tournament to how he looks now, you can tell a complete difference, not just in his appearance, but in his play. As for his appearance, they say he has lost 25 pounds since the in-season tournament, which in just the span of a few months, that is very huge when it comes to helping him be in better shape. He is at the most games he has ever played in a season right now for his career. As of the time I'm recording this video, he played his 68th game of the season tonight. Now, ever since the in-season tournament, which is a span of 48 games for Zion, he's been averaging 23 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, almost a steal, and almost a block a game on 57.7% from the field. Now, his stats since the in-season tournament have not not been exactly eye popping. 23 points a game isn't outstanding when it comes to the standards of Zion Williamson. However, it's some of the stuff that you don't see in the stat sheet that really stands out. If you've watched Zion play in any game recently, you can tell he has not had this much energy and enthusiasm playing through a long NBA season throughout his career the way he has this year. His effort on both ends of the floor has increased drastically offense and defense. He's contesting shots. He's getting there. He's making plays on offense. He's setting up his teammates better than ever before. I think my favorite part of Zion's game so far this year has definitely been watching him set up his teammates while still being able to create his own shots and especially attack those mismatches. If he gets someone on the perimeter, he can fly right past him to the rim with a spectacular dunk or switching hands midair to go up and throw it in off the glass. And honestly, I mean it when I say that I think Zion Williamson has been leveling up this season in ways that we may have not been able to see unless we've been watching the games. If you have not watched Pelicans games this year, I would highly recommend you go back and watch a couple of them. Or if not that, then at least tune in for a couple other games to end the season. They have been playing very, very good team ball this year. And even with a couple of injuries, but between Brandon Ingram, CJ McCollum, and even Zion missing a few games, and Jose Alvarado as well, they've been able to stick together as a team and somehow fight their way into the playoffs. Hopefully
hopefully locking up a top six seed so they don't have to slip down into the play-in. Looking back at the Pelicans, it has been six full seasons since the last time that they made the playoffs without having to be in the play-in as it was 2018. They have looked all together more fluid this year. They're very good at closing out on the perimeter defensive rotations and Zion has been a part of that. While he may not be the most outstanding defender on the team, he definitely is able to hold his own. Some of the statistics may not favor him, such as plus minus on off point differentials, net ratings, things like that. However, when you watch him play, his effort has definitely intensified and all we can hope for is that going forward, he can continue on this trajectory because in my opinion of seeing Zion Williamson, I think he's just getting started. From the way I see it, if you add up all of his career games played, you get around two to two and a half full seasons. Considering how many injuries he's faced, you could almost think of it like he's basically just in his second or third season. Next year will be another opportunity for him to improve. I really love this Pelican squad. I love Herb Jones. I love Trey Murphy the third. I even love Valanchunas, even though every time he plays against my Thunder, I swear that guy is good for 25 and 12 and doesn't miss a single hook shot. Regardless, Zion is so entertaining to watch. If you have not watched him, I would highly recommend it. He's very, very good at attacking the basket, finding open teammates, getting up in the sky, even to block shots. He is just so entertaining to watch. He's so electric and I would highly recommend it. Zion Williamson has been one of the most beloved and hyped up prospects that the NBA has seen in my lifetime and the lifetime of many fans. However, he has faced so many injuries and misfortunes throughout his career and hardships that have put him down and set him back. He's not let this fully shake him, even though he had put on weight and been a little out of shape, he managed to fight his way through it, and now he's arguably playing some of the best basketball of his NBA career. Thank you for watching today's video. I appreciate it so much, and thank you for all the love on the last video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. As if you're brand new to the channel, we are very, very close to 1,000 subscribers. I'm Mason Moves, and no matter what happens, ball never stops.